Evening, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Truck. What's going on? It's bedtime stories. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, we're we're switching over to Pennsylvania, and what you are looking at right now is my uh, Beretta uh, 40 caliber uh, 8040 Mini Cougar. Now, this particular uh, Mini Cougar is uh, was made in Italy. I love this gun, even though it was 40 caliber. I love the snappiness, but this uh, particular handgun has a rotating uh, uh, barrel, which actually cuts down on the snappiness of 40 caliber, and that's why I love this so much. Um, I actually sold it to a friend of mine who lives in California. He still has it today, um, and basically, I'm going to talk about each gun uh, over the next series, I'm going to talk about the experiences I had. Now, this particular gun, as you guys know, I'm a mental health therapist. And, uh, you know, Pennsylvania, uh, it's easy to get your license to carry firearms. I actually uh, transferred this gun into my name from a friend of mine, a long-term term friend of mine that lives is from New Jersey. So it was easy for me to transfer it uh, to Pennsylvania, of course, because all you need is your driver's license. You don't need permit to purchase and all that. So... Um, uh, you know, as you guys know, I'm a therapist and at, at times I take on clients, uh, mobile therapy, uh, for, uh, children in crises or families in crises. And this particular gun was great because you, as you can see, the handle on it is, uh, the grip on it is short and it actually, uh, is very difficult to tell that, uh, I had a gun on it. It didn't print. So I'll tell you some of the stories going to some of the client's house. One particular client really hated my guts. There was no particular reason why I, I gave them to hate my guts, but for some reason, they just didn't like me. So, you know, sometimes it happens when you're trying to establish a therapeutic uh, relationship with the, the child or the family. Uh, but unfortunately, when you had that situation um, uh, where there's all, so much resistance going in the house, um, you can't treat the child or the family because they just don't vibe with you and you're not vibing with them. It's not necessarily that I wasn't vibing with them. So this is what happened. Um, because they hated my guts so much, they had a pit bull. Um, so one day I showed up, I believe it was a Saturday morning and I, or, or Sunday. I, 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 no, I rarely worked on Sunday. It was a Saturday morning. So I went there uh, on a Saturday morning and they had a dog. It was in the backyard. And the mother tells the son, the oldest son, the teenager, I wasn't there for him. I was there for a younger young man. Um, um, he tells she, she tells her to put the pit bull in the basement, lock the basement door, because I was there. Now, I'm, you know, I was outside the house. I hear this command, and then, you know, basically, you know, they let me in the house. And um, the teenage boy was, of course, slow. He didn't uh, pay attention to what his mother was telling him to do. So I sit, take a seat at the dining room table, and this young man, what he did was he brings the pit bull in from the backyard. Uh, he sees me, he kind of gives me a smirky smile, right? Like he's looking at me like, hey, I should let the dog go. But unfortunately, the young man did not know that I had my little uh, cougar. So my cougar would have ate his pit bull alive that day, uh, regardless, because, you know, hey, you know, I'm not going to let somebody's dog bite me, right? And in Pennsylvania... Um, you can carry a license, you know, you can carry your gun into my home. Of course, they didn't know that I, I had a gun on me, but I was in a bad neighborhood. I was in North Philadelphia, which is called the Badlands, right? So uh, I had to protect myself because I always carried a laptop. Uh, at that time, I still was wearing my jewelry, my, my grad school ring, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I was kind of an attractive target. And um, so... Uh, Okay, what he did was he put the dog in the basement, and I stood up uh, to, you know, to greet his brother, little brother, coming down the stairs, and lo and behold, he didn't lock the door in the basement, and it, the pit bull comes out, uh, you know, growling and snarling that, looking at me. So, you know, naturally, I'm like, well, I, I'm thinking to myself, man, I really don't want to shoot this dog in front of these kids and the family, you know? <laughs> but I, t I said to myself, I'm not getting bit. I, and, you know, I know that pit bulls, if they get a hunk of me, they're not going to let go. They get that locked jaw and all that kind of stuff. So, unfortunately, the dog was going to have to get put down, right? So, I just, I didn't even react. I just looked at the dog and I looked at him and he was smiling. 
because he was in the kitchen when the dog jumped out the uh, uh, the basement door. He was smiling, and I'm just looking at him serious, like, "Yo, you about to your dog about to die, right?" He didn't even know, man. He, yo, dude, he didn't even know that his dog was about to get devoured by the mini cougar. <laughs> this gun has like. Uh, 10 round mags, but also has an extended um, magazine that, uh, actually, no, okay, the, un, no, the non-extended magazine, which is in the gun right now, in the picture, uh, has 8 plus 1, so this is 8 in the configuration 8 plus 1, but uh, normally I would uh, keep the short magazine uh, in the gun and then carry the, the longer magazine, which has 10 rounds with a plus 1, you know, so, so it would be 11. Uh, so I could drop uh, eight rounds or someone or some something and then pop in another ten round mag. So he didn't know that his his pit bull, his mean little pit bull, was about to be devoured by a cougar. So that's our bedtime story for tonight. You guys tuck yourself in. Good night. Peace.